In this video, we provide practical steps towards triaging initial treatment recommendations for patients diagnosed with a functional neurological disorder. Following the delivery of the diagnosis of FND, it can be helpful to determine how receptive a given patient is towards the diagnosis. If considerable ambivalence is expressed, early emphasis can be placed on education to aid understanding as well as efforts to facilitate engagement. Education can occur through in-office follow-up discussions, review of online resources, and directing individuals towards published patient testimonials, among other efforts. For those that are receptive to diagnosis and already inquiring about available treatments, there are two mainstays, motor rehabilitation and psychotherapy. In physical therapy, consensus recommendations by Nielsen and colleagues published in the JNNP in 2015 emphasize reliance on task performance and use of distraction to aid the emergence of normal movements. Other rehabilitation interventions include occupational therapy and speech and language treatments. Consensus recommendations for occupational therapy by Nicholson and colleagues were published in 2020 in the JNNP. While speech and language therapy recommendations by Baker and colleagues are soon to be published in 2021 in the same journal. Psychotherapy is also an emerging first-line treatment for FND. The literature to date is most robust in supporting the use of cognitive behavioral therapy, abbreviated CBT. In CBT, patients are guided to explore relationships between their functional logic symptoms, thoughts, behaviors, emotions, and life factors. Other considerations include the need for close collaboration across the clinical neuroscience and rehabilitation specialties for many cases. Pain, fatigue, cognitive symptoms, when present, should be considered in treatment decisions. Overall, a biopsychosocial informed formulation can help guide initial treatment recommendations and longitudinal care. There are many unanswered questions. These include defining the optimal treatment setting, duration of treatment, and the optimal set of interventions given to a particular patient. Additionally, not all patients improve with use of available evidence-based treatments, suggesting that there are gaps in our therapeutic toolkit for functional neurological disorder that require more research.